<laughs> so, so yeah, so, so all we really had to do was figure out where these two boys were going to meet and what day, which we did. Um, and, and then we just went from there. Yeah. And you came up with the first name of the boy, and I came up with the last name of the boy. And uh, that, we spent like we've now spent five minutes talking about the, the 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 one month where the book came to be imagined, and zero seconds talking about the five years in which we wrote it. Um, <laughs> but that's boring. And that will um, come up in the Q and A. Sure. Yeah, we'll talk about that in the Q and A probably. But yeah, we we then proceeded to write the book, uh, and then now then it's now. Yes. Yeah. yeah, when I said it was now earlier, it, that was now and back then. I you went way too high there. That was one of my favorite events of this whole event. Remember that time when you were talking about now? Yes. Alright, so what we're going to do to entertain you, um, we, we decided for this turn not to do sort of our tra a traditional reading where you would read from his chapter, I would read from mine. Um, instead, we are going to do a sort of reader's theater. Um, to do that, we are going to... <laughs> we're going to do calisthenics. Yes? That was the bending backwards for a script pose. If it were 100 degrees, it would have been hot yoga. Um, yes, we are going to call to the stage Ms. Maureen Johnson.
Tiny Dancer is this musical uh, which was written by Tiny, and it's basically Tiny's slightly fictionalized life story, except it is sung. And it is the, I mean, I don't use this adjective lightly, but it is the gayest single musical of all, in all of human history, which is really saying something. And by gay, I don't mean that it sucks. I just mean that it's gay. It's actually, as musicals go, quite good. I'm particularly fond of the song, The Nose Tackle Likes Tight Ends, which includes the memorable couplet, The locker room isn't porn for me, because you're all too damn pimply. <laughs> Tiny Dancer would be what the gay rights movement might call bad for the team. That's exactly the kind of thing you can say tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. Yay! <laughs> so I get on Facebook and I try to figure out who exactly is in the Gay Straight Alliance and whether they might develop into a suitably non-annoying group of friends. Hey! <laughs> hey. Sorry, that may have been an inappropriate exclamation point use. Uh, that's funnier in text. <laughs> but you did a nice job. I do what I can. No, it's all good. You, that was you always make that joke. No, I know, I know, I know. It's part of the joke. It's all good. Okay. I hear Tiny's recruiting you to join the GSA. Indeed. You should come. We need members. It's kind of pathetic, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Your Facebook is funny. I like activities. Ought to involve sunglasses. You have more favorite bands than Tiny has ex-boyfriends. Yeah, well, some people have lives, some people have music. And some people have neither. You're up, Will. You're about to become the hottest straight guy in the Gay Straight Alliance. How many straight guys are there in the GSA? You're it. <laughs> so a couple days later, the H period bell rings, and I feel the endorphins sizzling through my body that usually indicate I have successfully survived another school day. But then I remember, day ain't over yet. I head upstairs to the GSA meeting. Grayson, you're here, thank God. Wait, this is the homosexuality is an abomination club, right? <laughs> hey, Jane. Grayson, are you abandoning your asexuality? I'm not asexual, Tiny. I'm a-relationship. Such a tragedy that you won't date. I mean, the only thing you have going for you is you're adorable. I mean, to me, you're a hideous and disgusting monster, but you're adorable to straight girls. And yet, you steadfastly refuse to date. I mean, is Grayson not adorable? Only then do I realize the full extent of the insanity. Tiny Cooper has brought me to a gay straight alliance meeting to hook me up with a girl. <laughs> um, you are straight, right? Uh, I think so. <laughs> you should totally date Grayson! He thinks you're super cute. Are you there, God? It's me, Will Grayson. <laughs> Dear God, I swear that I will take a vow of silence and I will move to a monastery and I will worship you for my remaining days if you just this once provide me with an invisibility cloak. <laughs> Come on. Please. Invisibility cloak. Now, 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 now. <sighs> Shortly thereafter, Mr. Fortson comes in with a few stragglers to start the meeting. At which point, Tiny Cooper lobbies for the absolute essentiality of staging Tiny Dancer, and I continue to pray that I might somehow disappear. The meeting adjourns. I cling to my desk a while as everyone else files out. Did you mean that, or were you just kidding? Why do you ask? I don't know. We just had a good time at the high album. I don't know. I wasn't kidding! Once I was sure everyone was gone, I got up. Tiny, of course, lay in wait. Of all the miserable fucking things you have done to me, you cocksucker. <laughs> a. A. Cocksucker is not an insult. And B. In my own case, tragically, it's not true. <laughs> Whatever, Tiny. Listen, dude, she likes you. Oh my god, seriously? Seriously. That's even worse, Tiny. I don't like her, not like that. She's adorable.